Ang math ay easy lang. Basta't alam mo kung paano sumunod sa mga rules and regulations nito. Ako po si Ma'am Carol, isang guro ng mathematics. Sa unang vlog na ito ay ating i-discuss ang rules ng MDAS. So our first topic is about MDAS, the basic mathematical rule for order of operations. MDAS is a mnemonic representing the words M for multiplication, D for division, A for addition, and S for subtraction. The four fundamental operations of mathematics. So ang MDAS ay hindi isang word o salita. Ito ay isang mnemonic. So, pinagsama-samang mga letra para mas madali matandaan yung salitang MDAS. So, uh, may mga ibig sabihin yung mga letters na M, D, A, at S. At ito ang four fundamental operations ng mathematics. Merong mga rules of priority sa MDAS. So, priority one is multiplication or division. Multiplication or division has the same level of priority. These two operations must be done first in a series of operations. It doesn't mean that multiplication must be done before division. There is another rule inside this rule, and that is to compute from left to right. Therefore, it is multiplication or division whichever comes first from left to right. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, ang una nating priority sa pagkocompute ay multiplication o kaya division. So, siya yung mayroong priority over addition or subtraction. So, kapag ka meron ka mga series of operations, marami kang dapat na isolve, merong involved na addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, Sabi dito, uunahin mo daw computein yung multiplication at division, whichever comes first, ibig sabihin kung ano man yung mauna, kapag magko-compute ka, simula sa kaliwa, papunta sa kanan. So, example. Halimbawa, ikokompute natin yung 10 divided by 5 times 7. So, nakalagay dun sa MDAS natin, di ba? M at saka D multiplication division. Hindi ibig sabihin no na uunahin mo yung multiplication kasi yung letter na yun ang nauna. Ang sabi dun sa rule within the rule, ang pagsasolve daw nito ay simula sa kaliwa papunta sa kanan. So, ano yung gagawin natin? Uunahin muna nating isolve yung 10 divided by 5. At ito yung ipinapakita ng color red na 2. Kasi ang answer sa 10 divided by 5 ay 2. At kukopyahin lang natin ulit yung times 7. So, bakit natin siya ang nuna? Kasi siya yung unang lumabas na operation simula left papunta sa right. Pagkatapos nun, saka na natin isosolve yung 2 times 7. At yon ang sagot doon ay 14. At yan ang ating final answer. So, para doon sa question na 10 divided by 5 times 7, ang answer ay 14. Pwede natin yung i-check sa pamamagitan ng calculator. At yan din ang lalabas na sagot. Sa pangalawang example, meron tayong 8 times 2 divided by 4 times 3. Para sa series of operations na to, meron tayong mga multiplication, division, at saka multiplication muli. So again, sabi dun sa rule, mag-solve tayo simula kaliwa papunta sa kanan. So yung 8 times 2, 16. At kukopyahin lang muna natin yung divided by 4 at saka times 3. So ano yung susunod? Pagkatapos natin masagot yung 8 times 2 which is 16, yung 16 na sagot ay i-divide naman natin ng 4. So ang sagot sa 16 divided by 4 ay 4. Pagkatapos, kukopyahin ulit natin yung pinakadulo, which is times 3. So, pag ginawa natin yung operation na to ng multiplication, ang final answer natin ay 12. At natapos na yung pagsasolve natin sa 8 times 2 divided by 4 
times 3. And the final answer now is 12. So, ano naman yung second rule of priority? Ang priority 2 ay yung addition or subtraction. Sabi dito, addition or subtraction has the same level of priority. Hindi porque sinabi sa MDAS na nauna yung letter na A, dapat mauna lagi yung addition. Sabi dito, these two operations must be done after multiplication and division in a series of operations. It doesn't mean that addition must be done before subtraction. There is another rule inside this rule, and that is to compute from left to right. Therefore, it is addition or subtraction whichever comes first from left to right. Example, 10 minus 4 plus 7. So, kukopihin lang muna natin at ginawa ko lang red yung unang dalawa. So, 10 minus 4. Kasi yun yung uuna natin isosolve. So, 10 minus 4 is 6. Tapos plus 7. So, this, dito sa linyang to, inunang muna natin yung subtraction. Kasi, siya yung unang lumabas na dapat natin isolve. From left to right. So, hindi natin sosolvin yung 4 plus 7 agad. Kasi nga, ang rule dito, from left to right. Pagkatapos, pag nakuha na natin yung sagot na 6, yung 6, siya namang i-add natin sa 7, at ang final answer natin ay 13. Another example. Meron tayong series of operation, again, involving addition and subtraction. We have 8 plus 2 minus 12, plus 3, minus 5. Again, we will follow the rule of computing from left to right. So, ginawa ko munang red yung unang dalawa kasi sila muna yung una natin sa solvin. So, 8 plus 2, that would be 10. Tapos, kukopyahin lang din muna natin yung mga susunod pa na operations. So, the answer there is 10. Minus 12 plus 3 minus 5. Pagkatapos, itong 10 at saka minus 12, sila muna yung ating isosolve. And that is negative 2. And then, kukopyahin din lang natin yung mga susunod pa na operations na plus 3 minus 5. Susunod, isosolve naman natin yung negative 2 plus 3 at ang answer doon ay positive 1. And then we will follow again with the minus 5. And our final answer is negative 4. So pag sumasamahin naman natin, papano kung yung tanong ay magkakasama yung addition, subtraction, multiplication, at division. Ito yung halimbawa. Let us solve the series of operations of 2 plus 8 divided by 4 times 6 minus 5. So, yan. Kitang-kita naman na merong plus, may division, may multiplication, at saka may subtraction. So, uunahin daw natin, again, using priority 1, MDAS rule, uunahin mo ang multiplication o division, alin man ang mauna sa kanilang dalawa. So, in this kind of problem, mas nauna ang division. So, unatin muna natin isolve yung 8 divided by 4. At yun yung kulay-pula dito sa linya na to. So, ang sagot doon ay 2. So, take note. Kinopya lang natin yung 2. Yung plus, nakasunod niya. Yung 8 divided by 4, ginawa na natin siyang 2, which is now in red. Yung multiplication sign, kinopya lang. Yung 6, yung minus, at saka yung 5. So, ano yung susunod na i-operate natin? Which is 2 times 6. So, dito sa linyang to, nakita ko lang na ito yung susunod natin na isosolve yung 2 times 6. Take note, natapos na natin isolve yung division, kaya wala na siya, hindi na siya nag a -appear. So, ang sagot sa 2 times 6 ay 12, indicated by this red uh, number. So, again, kukopyahin pa rin natin yung 2 sa unahan kasi hindi pa siya involved sa, sa solving natin. And then, we have plus the number 12, at saka minus 5. So, in this um, line, 
natapos na natin isolve lahat yung multiplication at division at naiwan na lang yung addition at saka subtraction. So, we will now follow the second rule of priority and solve it from left to right. So, yung uunahin muna natin yung 2 plus 12, kaya siya ay uh, naka-red. So, ang answer doon ay 14. And then finally, ima-minus natin yung 5. So, we will have our final answer, which is 9. So, para sa series of operation na 2 plus 8 divided by 4 times 6 minus 5, the final answer is 9. So, ngayon, meron tayong challenge. Tingnan natin kung naintindihan nyo yung rules ng MDAS. So, I want you to solve for this problem. Medyo mahaba, parang trend ng LRT. So, we have 25 divided by 5 times 12 minus 5 plus 10 times 3 plus 6 divided by 2. Ano kaya ang tamang sagot dito? Malalaman nyo yan sa susunod nating vlog. At ibibigay ko sa inyo ang tamang answer. Maraming salamat sa inyong pakikinig. Thank you. Huwag niyo pong kalimutan na mag-like, subscribe, and share ng video ito. At kung meron pa po kayong mga gustong itanong o mga topics na dapat na-discuss ko, please comment down below.